Hi everyone and welcome back to our building series. In this episode we're going to carry on from where we left off and make it so that when we build items using our build menu that we are taking away items from our inventory to create these builds. So we need to work on our inventory UI and inventory itself and then be able to make it so it can spend that inventory when we place these blocks. So quite a few things to go through. Uh, we won't go through it all in this one episode. So um, in this episode, we're going to focus on getting the UI side of things sorted out. So similar to the build menu, uh, we're going to have a uh, inventory menu content. So you've got build menu content, you're going to have inventory menu content. So let's um, actually duplicate the build menu content. And let's call that one inventory menu content. And if we go in there, we need to take some things out. So I'm going to take the build buttons we've got in here out. We're going to add our own stuff into this. But we're going to leave the scroll box as it is. And there's no code here to write about. And there should be no variables to write about. So it's pretty basic. So in here, we're going to add in our inventory. So our inventory is going to come from our inventory component, which we've got to add in a moment. And build in individual items in this sort of list here. So we need to make the itemized uh, widget itself first of all so let's go into user interface make a new widget blueprint and we go inventory if I spell it correctly menu item and in here we're going to get rid of the canvas panel and instead we're going to have a horizontal box inside this horizontal box we're going to have a thumbnail Which should be called an image, not a thumbnail. Oh, uh, image. That would be our thumbnail. So I'm going to name it thumbnail. Where's wrong with my keyboard? Thumbnail. There we go. And alongside that, let's change this to the desired so we can see it as it is. Alongside that, we're going to have some text, which will be the item's name. Like so. And then we're also going to have the quantity we have. Now the quantity is going to be on the far right hand side of this uh, of this box here. So I'm going to drag that into another text field into my horizontal box here. But what I'm going to do with this one is click on the second one here and change it from horizontal alignment to fill to align to the right. Now you're not going to notice much difference here, but when we add it into our menu content, it should put itself on the far right while keeping everything else to the left and uh, justified in the center. So let's be able to name these things so we know what the hell they are. So this middle one here is going to be the inventory name. Inventory, inventory item name. And this one is going to be the quantity text. These are going to be variable because these are going to change in the course of the game. They're not going to be fixed. So um, on the thumbnail, let's scroll down to where it says image size and let's change that to um, 64 by 64. Now go to your text and we're going to vertically align them into the center. So in the vertical alignment, change it to center. Both of those like so. Next we're going to add in some padding around this so we've got some difference between it and the rest of the uh, of the widget. So on the thumbnail here, actually on the uh, thumbnail, yep, yeah, we're going to put in padding of say 10 and on the text block here on the left padding I'm going to put in 50 and on the text block on the right we're going to put in 50 Actually, let's put in 10. That's it. And on the left of that one, we're going to put in 50. That's it. Okay. Um, so there's our basic text field there. Um, what I might also do is put in a border into the background so we can differentiate it from the rest of the widget. So I'm going to right click on my horizontal box in my hierarchy, go wrap with border. Click on that border. And we want to change it so it's not white because everything else is white. We go to brush color 
and I'm going to change it to be black. Actually, no, let's change it to the saved one we got here that we stored from earlier. And on the padding for this, we'll put in uh, zero across the board because we've done a padding elsewhere in the widget. Um, we are going to hit compile and save. And let's go back to our inventory menu content and let's see how this looks when added into the scroll box. So I'm going to go to user created, find my inventory menu item, just drag it into the fields like so. Now it's almost getting there. The thing I want to change though is this quantity. You can see it's not fitting onto the right here. So let's fix that and see what's causing that issue. So let's go into the menu item. Uh, click on the center item here and I can see I should have hit fill and left it as 1.0 and what that does it will make it so it fills the available space um, as much as it possibly can so now we get here on the menu like so now if we want padding between these items here okay um, we could do it manually over here um, or we can go in and make it so it's part of the actual widget itself, which is better because then we can add it uh, a lot easier and a lot quicker in code. So let's go into the menu item here. Go to that border in the hierarchy, right click and wrap with another border. On this top border, we're going to change its uh, brush color to be alpha zero. So it has no color at all. And then we're going to go up where it says padding. And we're going to change it all to zero first of all. And then we're going to add a top and a bottom padding. So we're going to add in, so let's say 50 in the top, 50 in the bottom. Actually, let's say 30. 30. Hit compile and save. And we get a much cleaner look going on here for our inventory. Very nice. Okay, so with that done, and I'm happy with that, hit save and go back to our menu item. So we've set up the UI the way it looks, but we need to set up the code, the data that goes into it. So we need to set up the information we need here. So we need a thumbnail, a title and a quantity. So let's create an item structure, which is what we're going to need eventually. So let's create a new folder here and go inventory. And inside here, I'm going to right click and create a blueprints and go to structure. And we're going to go into item structure. And we're going to have um, item name and that will be a text field. Thumbnail. That's just going to be associated to this thing. And that'd be a texture 2D. And I'm going to have in a 3D model asset, which will be used for when it pops out onto the floor when you want to collect it off the manually. And that'd be a static mesh. So it'd be mesh. And the type for that would be static mesh. And we'll click on static mesh. Okay, I think that would do for now. Uh, we can add things like descriptions and things like that, but I'm going to leave it as is for now like that. Okay, so now we've got a structure in place. We are going to go onto our um, inventory menu item, go into the graph, go to variables and add a new variable. And this will be item details. And that will be of the type of that item structure we just made. Hit compile. Now we also need a quantity in here, so we're going to go new variable, quantity, and that'll be an integer, because it can be a whole number, it can be a part number, so whole numbers coming from the player's inventory component. Speaking of which, we need to make the inventory component, but uh, let's first finish off what we've got here. So on the con pre-construct or construct for this, uh, let's do construct. We want to get the item details out, split that to get access to the name and thumbnail. So here we're going to take our inventory item name, 
and get. And from there, I'm going to set the text inside of that text widget. And that's going to be the item name. Next, we're going to go to the thumbnail, get, and then set brush from texture. And that'll go from your item details as well. And that's all you need to do there. Next, we're going to do is drag our quantity text out, which is get and set text. And that'll come from the quantity value here. So drag that out and choose get. And we're going to put that into in text here as a format text. And the format text node allows you to put in variables inside of text strings easily. So on the format here, I'm going to put in x for like times. And then open a the curly bracket and put in that, uh, amount. And then we'll do close curly bracket. Hit enter and you'll now see a pin arrive for that amount. So if I drag quantity into there, it will now draw the text value of this quantity inside where those brackets are. So you get X, that amount. Hit compile and save. So now we've got the data going into this inventory item widget. Um, we're going to stop right there. And in the next part, we're going to create the inventory component. Now the components can be storing the actual inventory the player has on their person. So we need to be able to build that and then tie that together with this UI. So join us in the next part where we go through that and, uh, and then we can start working on getting it to spend that inventory to craft our building pieces. If you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Rylaley. A donation of just $1 will get access to all those videos plus much, much more. Thank you to all my patrons for the continued support. This wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future content, please leave a comment below. I would be fascinated to see what you guys want to see. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.